So Live Lab is a complex project dealing with a very complex medical issue, which is the psychological barrier that affects people from actually seeking medical advice, even when they have worrying health symptoms. What we recognise is although we have some resources and expertise in this area, we need to reach beyond the traditional boundaries of pharmaceutical um, collaborations and actually get important perspectives from other sectors and other industries in order to find solutions that will truly engage with patients in order to actually improve those outcomes. So the Live Lab project convened a group of um, experts right across data, tech, digital and creativity as well as health and through a series of meetings we understood that what we all had in common was that we needed to develop a better understanding of people's behaviours in the way that they actually engage with the health system and the overall objective was to actually gather a robust data set that would allow us to characterise this fear of finding out so that we can actually go to health systems around the world and actually provide them with this data set in order to um, develop more solutions. So I think it's widely recognised that health systems around the world are struggling with um, an ever-growing population and people li living longer. So for us, what we wanted to do is to see how we could bring expertise that we hold as a company um, and specifically looking at the equity that we have in research and evidence to actually come to the table with more solutions that would support these health systems and get patients in to see their medical um, practitioners earlier because we know that earlier diagnosis and actually dealing sooner with complex medical problems will actually help save health systems money. So the project has been running for around two years, starting at the point of working with the collaborators to understand how we could actually better understand the fear of finding out, or FOFO. We then progressed to creating a data set um, and we did this through a very innovative and creative way of creating a gaming for good um, platform um, working with the creative industry to engage as many people as possible to complete a survey which looked at the psychological areas that may underpin this phenomenon of FOFO. Where we are now is that the data set has actually reached its target number and together with Citalia, we are looking at the data more closely. And we have some in interesting initial perspectives, but um, it's really early at the moment and we are doing a more rigorous um, analysis, which we'll be revealing a little later this year. Patients and their patient experience is absolutely key to improving the overall health of all nations and also in helping health systems to actually deliver a more efficient way of actually supporting their populations. So we believe as an industry that understanding and finding solutions for those patients' experience are really, really important. Um, we do that in multiple ways at the various stages of the development journey of the asset all the way through to how patients are engaging in their level of understanding around their conditions. And then this project goes furthermore into looking at even before people become patients, what actually motivates patients and people to take healthier lifestyle choices that could actually prevent them from going into ill health later in life. <laughs>